Hello there today. Today I'm painting a little dog. His name is Leo. He is a Westie or a West Highland Terrier. Uh, this is an ornament. So because he's a light colored dog, the owner and I opted to go with this dark stained ornament. So he shows up uh, much nicer on it. When I paint the light colored dogs on the light colored ornaments, they just, they don't pop as much. That contrast uh, between the light and dark is always really nice. So I start out working on his eyes and his nose, uh, which is my usual approach to most of my oil paintings for my pet portraits. So I start out with the eyes and the nose and it's a very slow process with a very, very tiny paintbrush. This painting is at about three inches. So it's actually is an exact three inch circle. I make all these ornaments myself and I use a three inch uh, circle. I am like saw on my drill press and I actually cut all of these out, sand them down and then stain them and prep them for paintings. So uh, it's quite tiny, but they make perfect ornaments and they make perfect like wall hangings. So um, they're, they're really nice little ways to memorialize our little kiddos. So this is Leo, AKA Puppy Doggy. And he's a white dog and white is a challenging color for some people. I find white to be really fun because it is so many colors. And so you can see here, I'm pulling in these, you know, pinks and purples and blues and greens into the white and it just, it makes it so much fun. And I really enjoy painting white animals. So bring them on. I have shown the reference photo a few times. This owner did send about five, six images of Leo and they, you know, they varied in quality and even like looks. There was some where he was sleeping and there's just some that he wasn't quite looking at the camera the way I wanted to capture him in a portrait. But because they provided so many photos of him, I was able to kind of look through them, study them, kind of get to know his personality a bit more and get to know him and take one that was my favorite. And I went ahead and kind of like tilted his head down and made the position a little bit more of like a portrait type position. Cause we know most times our dogs won't sit for a photo and sit perfectly and looking at the camera. So sometimes we just have to make do and I'm really happy with how that turned out and how he no longer had that appearance that he was looking up at the camera. He now has this appearance that he's sitting there and he's looking at you and he's in the room with you, uh, which is really cool. You can notice that I've got a little bit of a change of scenery. I was actually working on this painting and we've unfortunately had a slab leak in, oh gosh, like five, six months ago. And they were just coming in to get our floors repaired. So I got kicked out of my art studio and I had to move into a different room and paint. So I had a lot of natural light, which was great, but it did cause a little bit of a glare during the painting process. I mean, here you can see the finished painting uh, right after I finished up with it. And then I move on through and I start varnishing. When I varnish, I use Gamblin's um, Gamvar, and then I go ahead and go through when that's done and I make a little name tag for the back and I just use the metal hand stamping technique for that. And here is the final painting. I hope you enjoy.